have started the topic about uh, how to write a research article. The biggest headache available with uh, all researchers, I know this because I have conducted my research work on uh, 20 years back. In that time also, I may have the biggest issue on how to write a research article. For the reason I want to help you because of uh, my previous experience, I have published 50 different uh, journals, all are high reputed journals, SEA journals, in the high impact factor 7 to 1.5 impact factor papers I published so that according to this uh, supportive mechanism I may present the topic as like how to write a research article, how to write and publish a research papers which is the biggest question and the first question available with every researchers. So, before you begin your research article writing, you may keep your, your mind with uh, some questions. First question, who is your audience? What is your community and who is your audience? You clearly keep it on your mind and select your audience according to your work. What are all the experimental work can you have conducted? You may keep your mind with your targeted audience. And uh, you should have aware the article structure. The article structure may have an uh, introduction section, literature review, methodology, uh, discussion section, and the conclusion section, reference section, all the things are available. So, you should be aware about how do I write the introduction, how do I write the literature review, how do, how do I write the methodology, and how to write my research, I mean results and discussion. Uh, based on your experimental procedure and the results and discussion only, you may write your introduction and the literature review. Every researcher keep this with your mind. First you write the experimental procedure and the results obtained from your work. Based on that your result, you may write other components. So, if you are right, these components means you should attract your audience. You may keep this also with your mind. The review and the editorial process. After judging or after examining or after evaluating your uh, targeted audience, you may aware about uh, review process available with your selected journal and the editorial processes are available with your uh, selected journal. Who is the editor of your consulted journal and what are all the review mechanism they are having. Likewise, you may aware you not randomly submit your paper to any one of the journals so you should aware about who is your targeted audience what about the article structure uh, the, what are the review and the editorial process assess available with your considered journal likewise you may think in initial stage after that you may keep another question why publish research paper why you publish yes you may aware about uh, published papers according to your selected journal and a permanent record of your research and a passport to your community. These are all the important things available with the way you publish your research paper. So, your paper should be published and your published paper is a permanent record of future research and future community follow your work and your identity will be created with this research paper article which is the passport to your uh, audience. So, editor, reviewer, not considering our, about our PhD degree. So, you please keep this answer to your mind, which is editor or reviewer, definitely not considering about your PhD degree for evaluating your research paper. During the review process, they are not considering about your PhD degree. They clearly uh, expected your results and experimental outcome Novelty available with your work, work, what are all the methodologies you considered, these are all the impact fa important factor for your research publishing before you are writing the paper, you keep this on your mind. Why publish the research paper, this is the identity of yourself and the passport of yourself to your community and uh, your published papers are recorded and uh, then Okay, now I may clear about uh, why I publish uh, and uh, how do I begin the research article writing. These are the things you may clear now. But what to publish? The next question automatically came into, into your mind. What I publish? Yes, you should publish 
new and original results what you derived from your experimental setup you may utilize newer tool or newer methodology or newer experimental procedure on your work so you may reflect this as a novelty to your community that should advance your knowledge to your community or your uh, juniors so you should understand in the certain scientific field what are all the scientific sessions are available with your experimental procedure you should have aware what are all the scientific uh, techniques are available with your paper or with your uh, experimental procedure you explore all the things and also you reflect the same on your paper and uh, you should aware before starting the paper you may now aware to what do i publish and you should aware about what do not i publish yes in your article you don't provide informations about any absence of scientific attractions and you don't uh, present your outdated work because in previous lot of uh, scientists are uh, prescribed their work you don't repeat the same Be because your work outdated automatically reviewer or editor rejected your paper it occurs okay after that you may reduce repetition you may clearly watch you are you are producing the repeated work available from your uh, literatures you may consider this also and also you communicate the proper data to your youngest generation so improper or conclusions not secured by data so you may consider you may consider the improper data presentation you may not consider the improper data you utilize the proper data because lot of reviewers understand you presented the random data so they aware about your experimental setup they aware about what are all the numerals arrived from there so you should provide the proper data to them don't cook up the data don't cook up the discussion points you may provide the real data to them and uh, the next thing nowadays the in current days all the reviewers and the editors are asked the question what is the novelty available with your work and then what is the motivations you provided to your future generation likewise all the editors are asking so novelty is important so in your work should concern about a novel useful and existing i mean exciting these are all the things you should provide with your uh, paper so how do i identify the novelty yes you should identify the most downloaded papers from your uh, selected journal and uh, most cited paper according to the most uh, lot of journals refer uh, the some papers or they are citing some papers regularly you may choose that paper and follow that paper they what they are providing as the novelty and the useful manner to use they provided their information to useful manner to the juniors and the most journal shared journals you may have the research scholar group in that some research scholars shared uh, some papers repeatedly you collect those kind of papers and uh, you may write the paper as well the manner what they pro proposed so your paper should be reviewers and editors are able to grasp the scientific significance easily based on the previous uh, experienced uh, journal reviews according to your journal review experience only you may produce the novelty in your paper and how will you explore your uh, usefulness in our future society and uh, your audience should be exciting with your work these are all the important thing you consider in your paper writing you don't write the paper as a random manner and uh, how can we identify trends in our subject area yes which is a important question i may be a computer science fa fa faculty i may be a manufacturing faculty i may be a electrical engineering faculty so how can we identify trends in our subject yes in each session in a mechanical engineering department different domains are available thermal engineering manufacturing and design so in each domain how many number of papers uh, per year published so you may choose that domain for your area so you may select the domain according to number of papers published in that particular domain you should aware of your uh, publication and our publisher details also how many number of papers published in that area 
nowadays the artificial intelligence are vital so as a mechanical engineer i may use artificial intelligence technique in my mechanical engineering outcome means the paper may be easily accepted so you may consider this point also and then evaluate the journal is also important what are the points you should consider to before submitting the paper yes what is the impact factor of that journal you don't consider the uh, less than one impact factor of journals you may consider high impact factor of journals for example journal of manufacturing research and technology international journal of advanced manufacturing technology in computer science it may has the different uh, uh, high impact factor journals so you may select the high impact factor journals it may vary from 0 to 14 uh, heart attack journals are having the 14 impact factor so that you may select high impact factor journal based if you are selecting the high impact factor journal definitely the reviewers help you to conduct your research as a uh, useful manner or helpful manner yourself and your audience both of them get benefited if you are trying to publish the paper on high impact journal after identifying the journal from the high impact factor basis you may move to SCA the different journal has a different uh, sigma rank you may analyze you may directly go to the journal website in the journal website they are giving the SCA journal and you may refer the Scopus website or SCA website you may refer the journal rank nowadays google search gives you a better result so you may select the SCA number also and further you may consider the Hutch index for your uh, selected publisher which is also available with the website google search so after that you compare journals uh, from based on the impact factor based on the SCA based on the Hutch index you may compare the journals which one is suitable for your uh, uh, discussion or results you may select the journal according to these three factors uh, and also you evaluate the your, uh, selected journal according to your uh, uh, evaluated impact factor SCA and the Hutch index so these are all the factors are important before submitting your paper to the journals and uh, find out more about the journal not only Hutch index not only SA how do I identify the more things yes who are the editors already your friends have the contact with the, some editors so that you may identify who are the editors and you may study the guide for others details in a website just a minute I will come back Sorry for the inconvenience uh, participant. Mm. Now, find out more about the journal. If you are selected some journal means you may directly go to the website and uh, search who is the editor of the journal and uh, study the height guide for authors. In that they are giving the lot of data about the journal, uh, font size and the journal requirements, aim of the journal, scope of the journal, what are all the publishing requirements are needed by them. You may search before writing the paper. And, uh, how to choose the right journal for your manuscript there are a lot of journals are available if from that how do you select your uh, respective journal yes look at your references you may write journal and you may provide a lot of reference list from that reference list there is uh, article title journal title volume issue pages are available in that reference uh, you may utilize lot of journals to make your paper so that based on your selected papers for reviewing you may publish uh, you may submit your paper into that respective journal and how do we write scientifically which is the next question you, now you may select the journal according to SCA impact factor request you may choose the paper but now the question how do I write scientifically yes you may write the paper scientifically based on clarity objectivity accuracy and brevity so what is clarity yes journals are well aware that clear communication between the reviewers and the authors is indispensable for successful manuscript publication so you clarity needed clarity means 
you may give the clear presentation you to your uh, reviewers okay so you may give the clear presentation to your reviewers and co-authors then only you may pass your initial session after that objectivity researchers can observe or uncover phenomena without affecting them if you write something means it should not affect your reviewers and it should not affect your audience you should care take care on that also and what is accuracy if you are developing the accuracy means your paper will be converted it into automatically scientifically so accuracy how precisely the measured value or findings reflect the real or the original values you don't use any cook up values because cook up values easily but identified by reviewers so you may use the data as accuracy not only the uh, precision values you may provide the accurate data to the community which is also important you don't use any cook up data then brevity brevity means by eliminating unnecessary abstractions you don't use any unnecessary sentences in your article uh, this is not uh, article uh, poem writing you should care on that which is a scientific paper writing so that you may you avoid unnecessary abstraction and difficult sentence construction for example you may consider 14 words only on your sentences the readers don't get frustrated during the time of uh, studying re or reading your paper and the weak verbs we don't use weak verbs and the twisted sentence patterns don't use multiple sentence for explaining the same thing and unnecessary nouns you don't use unnecessary nouns and uh, over use of proportional phrases you don't use any poetry words or phrases in your scientific article you taking care on these points you may write automatically automatically you may write your well organized paper so you should consider these three four points before writing the scientific <coughs> research article which is clarity objectivity accuracy and the brevity yes how do we write scientifically be alert from common errors what are all the common errors we may create unknowingly yes unknowingly we may create our sentence constructions in sentence constructions you may the subject verb and object you may place the exact subject exact verb and exact object for creating the sentence so you may take in care of the on that sentence constructions and you don't utilize incorrect tenses for example if you are consider the journal paper means some journals always follows the present continuous tense some journals are always follows the past continuous tense you study about previously published paper and identify what tenses they are replaced to, to to make the paper you utilize the same tenses for your paper also so from that you may avoid inaccurate grammar in your paper for example wrongly i may give the sentence i don't want uh, no parting but right word is i don't want any parting likewise you may utilize the words in your journal inaccurate you avoid inaccurate grammar and you should avoid spelling mistakes nowadays lot of uh, uh, grammar checking softwares are available so that you may check uh, the grammar also i mean spelling mistakes also then how do we present the sentences in journal yeah how do we present my sentence already told you about some journals are replacing tenses like that some journals are uh, uses different tenses for their publication so that you may follow the thing and uh, how do we present the sentences in journal yes you don't write indirect sentences or long sentences you construct the sentences as a direct manner and short sentences how do i frame yes one idea or one piece of information per sentence is sufficient you don't incorporate n number of ideas n number of pieces on your single sentence you should avoid so you automatically avoid multiple statements in one sentences if you follow one idea per sentence means you automatically avoid multiple statements in one sentence there because the readers are getting confusion during your reading of paper then journal structure and the contents are to be in every sections so you should care taking care every journal has a different structure so you should taking care of that journal structure maintenance 
and the contents are presented in every section. For example, I want to explain this is the high impact factor, three impact factor journal, which is International Journal of Advanced Manufacturing Technology. Here I presented as like a title, abstract, a bottom of abstract, I provided keywords, after keywords, I provided introduction, after introduction, the methodology, after methodology, there should be a results and discussion, after that conclusion, after conclusion, references. This, are, this is the base structure of your uh, article. So, article consists of uh, the paper title, author detail, and then abstract, keywords, introduction, methodology, results and discussion section, conclusion section, after that references. Yes, what is title? Because in previous slide, I may tell about uh, what is the structure of paper. Now I want to tell about uh, what is title. Yes, title is your first chance to make a good impression on reviewers and the journal editors. Here you see, I have conducted the physiologic and uh, statistical analysis combination for evaluating the drilling operation. So, I provided the title as like integration of physiologic with the response surface methodology and I provided the result for thrust force and the surface roughness and I provided the uh, technique what I used modeling of drilling on I, drilling is the process what material I utilized titanium alloy so drilling on titanium alloy likewise I provided so the every paper writer should concentrate about the title the title should be a should make a good impression how Say what you have to say in the fewest possible words. So you won't confuse your audience. You won't create a multiple statements in your uh, title. You give a specific. Say what you want to convey. So what you want to convey means some feasible words. So your title should be unique. And there should be a logical reason. These are all the things you may further consider. Which means the ability of a candidate to understand and logically work through concepts and the problems expressed in the paper. Your title is not separated from your work. So you are taking care of that and also your title should be a unique and your title should be a logical reason, should follow the logical reason. So your title should uh, have the ability of a candidate to understand the logically work through concepts and the problems expressed in the paper. Journals with the short, attractive titles are better cited. You see, if, uh, if you refer all the journals, all references you may see, which is not a lengthy sentences, uh, the sentences are not, may not making confusions. So, journals with the short, attractive titles only selected by n number of authors. That's papers only cited so that you may give the short title and the crisp, which should be a unique and a logical reason title. Yes, I may provide it here, research paper title. Here you see, I may utilize experimental data, measurement of my experiment, physiologic model I utilized, and the statistical data analysis also I conducted, and making an empirical model I developed, and the performance evaluation of fuzzy model and our response surface model I considered, and finally proposed the result. These are all the constructions I utilized as a uh, as a experimental procedure. I reflect all the things with my title. Here you see uh, integration of fuzzy logic. Here I model framed with the fuzzy logic. Here you see evaluation of fuzzy rule, uh, universe partitioning, uh, making a relationship between input and output, uh, rules combination. I can't replace all the things here, but I simply utilize integration of fuzzy logic. I combine, why I utilize integration means I combine fuzzy logic and uh, ANOVA RSM technique. So here I place integration of fuzzy logic with the response surface methodology. This is enough. What for I do this? Yes, for thrust force and roughness modeling. Here I may utilize industrial data analysis collection from the experimental setup as a response of thrust force and surface roughness. So I provided here. I utilizing modeling techniques, different modeling techniques, so that here I utilize the unique word as modeling. On what process I utilized? Yes, drilling process I utilized so that I replace here drilling. 
what material i placed on titanium alloy so this title is a crisp so it is a unique I, what i presented in my balance paper i presented the same as the title this title reflects my thorough work so all of my work are represented by this simple topic so every article writer should concentrate about uh, giving the name of the title so it should be a, it should be create the attraction of other audience after that the uh, abstract session every journal has a different uh, but the consists the abstract always the advertisement element of your work the audience should not refer full paper so they may study your title after uh, studying your title they may interested then they go through your abstract the abstract should be a advertisement of your article so during the abstract writing you should concentrate you may write the advertisement of your work but you don't use any poetry word in your work how, i will tell how do you write the abstract in our upcoming slides but your abstract should contain one paragraph only uh, it should contain and also it should contain 50 to 250 words only and uh, the your abstract should be accurate and specific not a storyteller or a slight design thinking process you don't tell stories but your uh, uh, abstract should be accurate and specific and a clear abstract will strongly influence if your work is considered further if you write the better abstract or a good abstract means your work will be considered by editor and after that it may go to reviewer reviewing process so you may taking care of your abstract writing and develop your abstract writing skills contents to be write in abstract what are all the contents you may write in your abstract yes i will tell you this is the my example paper abstract example it may uh, it may has a different color why i use yes i will tell you the first yellow color in the yellow color i explained what is the process used for my research yes drilling operation i used drilling operation what are the experimental condition i used what are the input parameters i used likewise i may propose here why i used i stated the justification also then second green color in your abstract also you may consider this point what are all the input parameters considered if you are consider the experimental work means definitely you may consider independent and dependent variables so that you may represents here independent and dependent variables clearly here the second part of your experiment first you clearly explain your process then you may clearly explain your uh, input variables okay after that what are all the experimental and the theoretical investigation procedure you follow next uh, third sentence she should consider about uh, what are all the experimental work you considered and what are all the theoretical investigation you considered for framing your work you consider this point turn next level next sentence then fourth sentence should be concentrated about briefly propose about levels of input parameter you may consider different levels on the same process same machine you may consider different levels you should clearly explain about uh, what are all the levels you utilized uh, for your input parameters and give details about the levels of input parameters on the responses so different minimum level is available medium level is available maximum level is available with my experiment how that uh, parameters impacted on my responses likewise you presented as the fourth sentence you may crisp you may present as a crisp manner but you move to, uh, next you move to sixth sentence which is enumerate about the theoretical and experimental comparison results you may conduct your experiment it may propose you it may give you some results after that you may conduct some theoretical investigation it may give some results here in abstract you may compare experimental result and the theoretical results with each other and write my experimental and the theoretical ex uh, outcomes are have best agreement with each other with each other likewise you may create the sentence after that you may consider seventh sentence explain about the outcome of research so what is the what is your uh, outcome what about your outcome yes you may clearly define my work has different from previously researchers and my work has give the better results than previous results you compare your results with the previously published paper and the same you presented here my 
physiologic integration where give better results than RSM method. Likewise, I propose here you may also utilize the same kind of thing in abstract writing. So, in abstract writing, these are all the points are important. So, in abstract introduction about the considered process and its application in the respective area like manufacturing, power plant engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, according to your work, you may present it here. And uh, name the input parameters and the responses and its importance in experimental investigation, which is the second point. And the third point will propose about enumerate about experimental and the theoretical investigations are carried out in present work. You should present what are all the theoretical and experimental work carried out in my work. Present work you presented as a third sentence. <coughs> Fourth sentence. Fourth sentence. Enumerate, uh, elaborate about the different levels of input parameter and responses to be mentioned in abstract. So, these are all the things are important. You may utilize the different levels of the same input parameter. So, you mentioned here that after the fifth sentence, you should explain the methods of theoretical investigations used, used for in the research work. What are all the theoretical work? I utilized two theoretical investigations. One is the response surface methodology. Another one is fuzzy logic. So, I explained the same in uh, uh, the fifth sentence uh, represented as the fifth sentence of my abstract writing and then whatever you are com uh, you compare your results with other means you presented here here i compare the results experimental results and the theoretical investigation i, I may presented the sentence uh, comparison method between theoretical investigation and the experimental investigation what i got from fuzzy logic method directly and when i compared fuzzy logic with the rsm mind what i got I compare both the results with each other. I presented the same in my abstract. And uh, propose the best methodology and the results found from the investigation. So, I found the two results. One is directly from the fuzzy logic and another one is integration of fuzzy logic with RSM. I got the two results. I compare the two results and propose which one is the best method. Yes, automatically I got the result as like fuzzy logic RSM gives the best results. See, so I propose the best methodology in my abstract. So you should consider these seven sentences in your abstract according to your work build up. Then after, after writing the abstract, then the bottom of your paper, there is a keywords. Here you see the keywords available. I utilized like uh, drilling operation, fuzzy logic, uh, response surface methodology first four surface roughness what are all the thing i kept in mind before uh, writing the keywords after writing the abstract yes the keywords keywords should be too general not any specific but should be too general i utilized drilling operation in olden days it is a old process so that i utilized drilling operation is one of the keyword because Based on your selected keywords or wrote, uh, write, uh, I mean, wrote keyword, the audience may search. The, if any person search as like drilling operation means they easily get your paper. So it should be too general concept or too narrow. And uh, look at the keywords of other articles that relevant to your manuscript. You also consider this also. And finally, you verify these keywords with the online and see whether they read occurrence relevant papers neither too numerous nor too rare if you are provided some keywords means you search with the google search uh, and you find the related papers are came what you are conducted experiment the related papers are uh, collected by the google search you may conduct this test also before providing as a keyword of your work so keyword is important to your work then only your paper is cited by another authors so you should taking care of keyword writings and the introduction section in that introduction section you consider two questions which is how to place what's outline and what is the importance these are all the two important questions i may give in my first sentence what is the problem here you see nowadays lot of research work was carried out for reducing the experimental work uh, it, in the previous uh, research 
many of the researchers used the retrial and error based experimental for the analysis it increases the experimental time and the associated cost likewise i presented as the initial sentence so i concentrated about what is the problem available with the current state i presented the same sentence as a first sentence of my introduction section and the second sentence i concentrated about are there any existing solutions yes i presented the sentence as like in current days some researchers used the design of experiment concepts for developing experimental plan through factorial design these techniques were used to reduce the cost and the time of experiment likewise i wrote the sentence so you present what are the existing solutions are available and then third and fourth sentence should concentrate about which one is the best based on the previous sentence you provided as which one is the best what is the main limitations here you see however this work uh, tries further reduction on the experimental time and cost by using uh, rsm method and physiology concepts and further uh, data were developed from physiology model is investigated with the analysis of variance and the regression analysis is also needed likewise i wrote the third sentence and fourth sentence and the fifth i concentrated about in my introduction section how do you hope to improve or contribute to this so future your further audience how do they utilize this technique you presented here also in that in this work the effect efficiencies of the modeling techniques are increased by analyzing the thrust force and the surface toughness in drilling operation so the importance of uh, uh, modeling techniques i proposed here so these are all the important things you considered during the introduction session writing and then methods how do i write the methods three steps you should consider but what are all the methodologies you are utilized yes in first step you consider about include all important details so that the reader can repeat the work so you provide all the important details about your work then only the other authors should place your work then only your paper will be cited so you should concentrate it and you deliver all the experimental methodology details in your paper and also you give your vendor names vendor means what who is the supplier of your uh, measurement instruments and uh, manufacturing equipment uh, manufacturer details so the you what are all the equipments you used what are all the instruments you used to, to measure your responses you provided the data in methodology sections in step 2 if you are using some materials means you should provide the chemical composition details all chemicals must be identified you don't leave any specific chemicals because reviewers should aware about your materials they, they during the examination they again asking the same question so you want to get depending on your reviewing process do not use proper proprietary unidentifiable components without any description so you should utilize all the details your own work details you don't replace others if you are replacing others means you should give the courtesy of them then step 3 you are considering during the methodology presentation present proper control experiment don't use any random experimental data on your experimental procedure you follow any scientific procedure to follow the controlled experiments you should present and uh, consider use of supplement, uh, supplementary materials So you may use supplementary materials also for developing the uh, experimental procedure according to this researcher i use this likewise you present the thing and then uh, okay sorry some participant the message me so that i answer to them then uh, okay ma'am no problem if for hospital management means you may create the objective with relevant to engineering because i am also having the patent that related to hospital management which is uh, how do i prepare the uh, medical wheelchair to them 
uh, likewise i may conduct some work so you may convert that objectivity into your field okay but the constru construction of a paper writing of paper is a common to all it is not related to engineering discipline so that you may write the paper for engineering discipline it may the medicine uh, discipline so you may write the paper uh, differently for medical disciplines so no need you may follow the same procedure all the journals are having the some stru same structures so you follow the same objective okay in results in results you clearly tell the story but it can be easily understandable so for easy understandable creation you can start the following points the main findings you should present the main findings uh, in my presentation i may use the fuzzy logic and fuzzy or some uh, uh, based on that investigation i find they found this i pr presented the same thing and uh, thus not all findings during the experimentation the material characterization also i believe so that in this paper concentrated about the modeling technique so that i don't present the thing in, uh, in my paper so i am not using irrelevant things in my paper so I have then findings from experiments described in the method section what you provide with your methodology you present results with respect to your uh, methodology section presentation and then in the results section you highlight findings that differ from findings in previous publication you may present here some points you highlight the thing in previous publication what you conducted with literature review you may provide some citation of that paper also you can say they are providing the results uh, like this but my pro paper provided the results different from them my paper provided the better results than uh, the previous author like this you may present and highlight and unexpected findings also you presented and uh, i presented the results of the statistical analysis with the fuzzy logic this is a newer one so i confidently presented in my results section so you also consider the same in your results and discussion section i i mean results section after that you may utilize lot of uh, figures and tables what are all the things you should consider in your manuscript writing yes what should i do with the figures what should i do with the tables in figures and tables are the most efficient way to present results and attract your audience reviewers and editors so you should provide the figures and tables on the manuscript you won't avoid figures and tables in your uh, manuscript number of if number of tables is high means your paper possibility to get the easily acceptance and you should provide captions and legends must be detailed enough to make figures and tables self explanatory according to your caption the user or your audience clearly understand what it presented so likewise you may give the caption here you see i gave the caption as like schematic diagram for experimental setup i have not giving the details about uh, drilling machine drilling experiment uh, spindle speed feed rate thrust force likewise i did it given but schematic diagram for experimental setup likewise i gave and the table fuzzy expression it fuzzy expression means uh, it explains all the thing low medium high low medium high all have so i crisply give fuzzy expression so this caption give the details to the readers likewise you also give the caption to your tables and uh, figures and then appearance of figures and tables how do you present your figures and tables in your uh, manuscript yes the plots if uh, may you may be present your plots or figures but uncrowded block plots you should give the uncrowded plots three or four data such sets per figure you keep three or four data only available with your figure these are all associated with well selected scales on i mean appropriate axis label size symbols clear or read data sets easily distinguishable likewise you may give the data about figures you present your figure with these data only and uh, you may give text in photographs and uh, you may give the text in photographs also for understanding purpose and uh, each paragraph must have a scale marker or of uh, professional quality in a corner so you don't uh, here you see the a 
the subdivision number a i give so i give the uh, same citation in my manuscript as a figure a likewise you provide the detail and uh, use color only when necessary here you see i provided two colors one is black and the red because the deviation needed so that i utilize uh, different colors you also utilize when necessary you use the different colors the color must be visible and distinguishable when printed in black and white so do not include long boring tables don't include any long boring tables what you needed you please provide the same only if you consider you are the reader during the writing session you consider you are the paper reader then only you present the same thing what you expected on the paper okay many journals are rejected because the discussion is weak because after completing your result section you their discussion is started now many of the journals are rejected by poorly presented their research discussion session so what are all the factors to be considered for writing discussion so your results should communicate to the original question defined in the introduction section now you compare what your questions developed in your introduction section you answer that in the discussion section okay after that interpretation for each of your results pre presented so you interpret you give the interpretation of your results in the discussion section if any differences between previous researchers you don't tell like previous researchers are giving the worst results than me i gave the better results but you justify why it occurs you don't tell any or you don't make any hurdles between previous researcher and yourself you justify why your experimental setup give the best result likewise you justify it and you can explain you can explain any limitations available in your work you clearly explain that limitation also which lead to your conclusion after completing after complete considering these factors to write the discussion means it lead to your conclusion section as a fruitful manner so you should consider this section and also you may know what you do with your discussion session i mean the uh, is yes, discussion section you should know about uh, what you don't discuss yes avoid new terms or ideas you don't give any new ideas you don't discuss with your introduction section i don't discuss this my literature review section but i replace the sentence here don't use that avoid new terms or ideas in your discussion section what you utilize in your introduction session what you utilize in your uh, uh, methodology section you utilize the same ideas same terms uh, in our uh, discussion section also and then what the results can support your work you make your own choice but it supported by your results you don't write randomly on your discussion section session you use the words based on your results so these are all the thing you don't represent with your discussion session after writing the results and discussion you directly come to conclusion section uh, i started my conclusion session as like uh, main objective of this work is to develop the empirical model using fuzzy logic and the combination of uh, fuzzy logic with the rasam so you highlight the same thing with your paper also so the conclusion is uh, looking like that but in conclusion conclusion is not uh, summarize okay do not summarize the entire manuscript on conclusion but you give the main objective of the uh, work objective and the present what have you shown and the, what it means for the field in conclusion session you may present what you mean and what you give your uh, field or your community you presented the same here and also you should uh, you don't stop your conclusion with the uh, what i find or the same thing i want to present to my community don't stop here you propose some future work so suggest future experiments and indicate whether they are under way likewise you propose them you help your community based on your help and the motivation points your art audience will be developed so your paper easily cited by other authors then only you may get the higher hatch index in your research area reference how do i write the references yes every paper has the different uh, uh, reference 
format. You follow the same reference format. Here I form, follow the International Journal of Advanced Manufacturing Technology Journal, Springer Nature. So I follow the Springer Nature reference details, first author, after that in bracket the year of publishing, after that the title of the journal, after that uh, issue or volume of the journal, after that the page. Likewise, you may write the reference of your journal. After writing this, uh, you don't stop your paper research article writing. Then you go for plagiarism check. Nowadays, a lot of papers are rejected by plagiarism uh, incremental. Here you see some paper are having a 35% similarity index. So you reduce that similarity index less than 10%. The this so, plagiarism may, came from internet sources, previously published papers and the student papers. Because conference paper is came as like student papers, previously pu published research articles as comes under publication, internet sources. So, during the writing time, you don't consider the previously published paper sentences. So, you may create your own sentences and also you don't use any AI tool. If you are using the AI tool for creating the paper, nowadays AI uh, plagiarism checker is also available. Now I may propose some software tools and some AI tools for generating the paper, but you clear you taking care of that also, also to reduce the plagiarism. You clearly have the idea you should have the plagiarism of less than 10 percentage. That 10 percentage also your technical words are. Uh, communication words and the action words maybe has the similarity but you don't write the full sentence with the uh, similar with the other journals and other author uh, articles so you should taking care of it this is plagiarism also after writing the paper you should check the plagiarism now i want to start software tools for writing the journal nowadays artificial intelligence tools also available are available and sentence creation tools are available you may write your own sentence but you may have the uh, poor sentence frame formation available with your paper so that you may use i may uh, use grammarly software likewise lot of softwares available you may use that in today's fast paced research environment efficiency is the key so writing a compelling journal article whether a research article or a review paper can be a time consuming process Fortunately, there is a suite of software tools available to streamline your workflow and enhance the quality of your writing. This presentation will explore various software tools designed to empower researchers throughout the writing process. From brainstorming and organization to editing and the final formatting, the software tools helping you. The <coughs> challenge, already I told you the time challenge, time management is the challenge for every researcher. So, Efficient time management and the organization are crucial for completing a research article. The sheer volume of information involved from background research to data analysis and co-author contributions. So the time management is playing vital. It can quickly become overwhelming. So manually keeping track of references and citations can be a time consuming and error prone process. Furthermore, Ensuring consistency in a writing style and formatting across the different sections of the paper can be a tedious work. For the reason, nowadays, lot of researchers are placed softwares. So you may also utilize the software, but taking care and aware about the plagiarism. Okay, here I may suggest some softwares to the rescue. The for brainstorming and organization of your research article. Mind mapping software available. The tools are Miro and Xmind. The performance of these software visually brainstorm ideas and explore research connections. And develop a clear outline of your uh, paper. It gives a clear outline of your paper so you may easily write the outline of your paper in the introduction section. And enhance focus and the organization. It gives the structure of your research. And uh, for writing the reference because different uh, research article has a different uh, research i mean reference structure you may use the tools for generating reference list with the manly or a short arrow these are uh, the software performance are efficiently store 
organize your lit reference citation and cite references clearly and automatically generate bibliographies in various citation styles, reduce the risk of errors and save time. Please, this kind of help we can get from the software, but not the total ent or entire work from them. Collaboration and communication between the authors can be done with uh, cloud-based collaboration tools, the Google Talks. I may generate a lot of uh, documents with Indian researchers, scientists with the Google Docs. I may share my proposal to them and I, they edit the, my proposal with the Google Docs. The same thing, you may collaborate with the co-authors and the, the same thing you may do. And the performance of these is real-time and co-authoring and editing, facilitating seamless collaboration. You follow the thing, ensure everyone is working on the latest version of the document. And the communication tools. The tools are Slack and the Microsoft Teams. Yes, you may conduct the regular meeting with them and you may conduct the reviews with them and you incorporate their ideas in your paper. This helps you foster efficient communication and task delegation within the research team. Enable instant messaging and project management. These are all the things you may achieve. Enhancing your writing grammar and style. Already I told you the Grammarly software. I use the Grammarly software for reducing the redundancy, repeatability and grammar sentence errors. I identified through Grammarly software. The grammar and style checking tools are invaluable for ensuring the accuracy and the professionalism of your writing. These tools identify grammatical errors, typographical errors and inconsistencies in strengthened structures and style these softwares help you and formatting and submission also there are a lot of software available already you know about latex and the end note the latex helps you the automated manuscript formatting according to specific general guidelines in you may write, read author guidelines they suggest some latex software to you you may use that latex software for creating the paper from the general management system after that, ensure a published, or I mean polished and professional final product. From that, you may you are save your time and effort compared to manual formatting. So, you may use the formative softwares. Software tools can empower research through the writing process. So, you may use the software for brainstorming and the organization of your paper and the formatting and the editing your papers by what I told the previous papers. Nowadays, AI tools are replaced to create paper. Now, uh, you, uh, parallelly, you are aware about you, AI plagiarism checker is also available. If you write the paper thoroughly with AI tools means the editor should easily understand you are writing with AI tools so the paper is rejected. So, they are taking care and caution on when you are using the AI tools. So, and also, AI tools can be valuable assets for researchers writing articles, but it is important to understand their strength and limitations. That's why I have told you that the plagiarism checker. Here is a breakdown of how AI can assist in the research article writing process. Yes, you may use AI tool for mind mapping tools. These tools can help you visually brainstorm ideas, explore research connections and organize your findings. Some options include uh, like lively, lively mind and the mind master. Uh, you may share this link. You may use this uh, link for your brainstorming and organization. Literature review. You may conduct with the semantic scholar, uh, SEILIT, soft, uh, softwares and the AI powered reference management tools also available. Mandalay and the Stratero. These links are available with my presentation. You may take these references. And writing and editing, Grammarly is available and the Pro Writing Aid is available. Grammar editing tool is helpful for uh, identify grammatical error, typos and uh, stylistic inconsistencies, ensuring clarity and professionalism in your writing. And uh, AI powered writing assistance is also available. The tools are Quillbot, Hemingway Editor. These tools can provide feedback on sentence clarity, readability and the overall flow. They can also suggest alternative phrasing or sentencing structures to you. However, it is important to remember that AI tools are not a replacement for human expertise. Already I told that all editors are 
having the AI plagiarism checker. So you may use those limited creativity and the critical thinking for the reason you may utilize the AI tools and factual accuracy. AI tools rely on the data they are trained on. So it's crucial to fact check any information or citations generated by these tools. You taking care of this point also. Bias. AI models can inherit biases from the data they are, they are trained on. Be mindful of potential bias in the research papers suggested by AI literature search tools. Here are some best practices for using AI tools for research article writing. Use AI tools to supplement your own research and writing, not a replace of you. Always fact check and verify any information generated by AI tools. If you are using the AI tools, it generated a lot of sentences. You may taking care and caution on that. Use AI tools to improve the efficiency and the quality of your writing, but maintain your control over the content and the message your research article. So please understand your strength and weakness of during the usage of AI tools. So I believe it may be useful. It may be useful for you. Thank you very much. If you are having any doubts, please ask.